thank you very much for coming back to my TV show, Boss Code Talk Show. As you can see, I'm maybe doing a couple more times in English. And let me take this chance to say a few words to my Chinese audience. 继续能够在这里来支持我还有一些中国的这些中医的学术方面的一些东西那我自己也非常感兴趣我自己也在我的一些中医的过程当中遇到很多这些西方的一些问题比较一下用西方的这些维他命跟我们东方的一些综合的一些就是草药啊或者是中药啊来到去一起放在我们的这个生活里边这样的话呢是否能够让我们的身体更健康了所以非常感谢大家能够继续来收看也非常感谢你们能够继续支持希望你们能够继续来看着我的这个节目让我们一
I, I'm really afraid of headache when it's, you know, before I, I, I always having it. So now I have a technique that I always, I always also, you know, the headache, maybe they, they call it the migraine headache, the chronic headache. One of my Japanese students, you know, is a young woman, 22, 23 years old. They, she used to have experience headache whenever she had her period. Up until today, I talked to her I, and I talked to her constantly. And uh, it's been two years. She's living without headache. And uh, I, I was happy for her, you know, um, and the headache ever since uh, is not recurrence, never come back. So what I'm teaching you right now is very simple. Okay, one thing, first thing, stop drinking cold water. Okay, cold drink, cold Coca-Cola, cold beer. I used to drink a lot of cold beers. Okay, no cold, no cold drink. If you want a cold, uh, beer, warm it up, <laughs> put it in the put it in the microwave, uh, boil it up, uh, and make it warm. <laughs> it it will you know taste nasty, but that's the way any cold drink avoiding eating like frozen food ice cream salad fruit you know cold fruits and <clears throat> American people listen to it up until this point they think I'm crazy because when you go to the restaurant first thing they give you a glass of ice water they give you salad they give you ice cream they give you everything cold okay if you calling for one glass of hot water they look at you like a terrible you know <laughs> like a monster so um, it, it's hard it's tough but this is the only way to cure your headache okay fruits you know um, that are what, what we call inherently you know that is cold that inherently is meaning that the actual fruit is not cold you're not putting it in the fridge but that fruit itself it has the um, when when it gets to your body it's it's going to cool down your body cool down your body cells and that is the fruit that we call is cold and then we have some some kind of fruit or vegetable or meat that is going to get you hot get you warm in your body so that is the fire and the water that is going to get the balance in your body so if you learn the yin and yang and also the five elements that is part of it that we learn but i'm going to i'm not going to get into that so much detail this time i'm just gonna make a an example you know two of the fruit that you have to avoid and it will get your body cold maybe one is banana okay another one is watermelon so very two simple thing everybody eats them everybody having a banana going before going to the gym empty stomach they think this is very healthy and then for maybe a couple more couple years later after they they stop exercising they have you know swelling feet and swelling body swelling face those are all came from all of these this is not supposed to being in your body so much so constantly or empty stomach and these are the stuff that we consider is cold in your body okay and it's lower down your blood circulation it's not bad thing but you have to eat it in the right time maybe in the afternoon and you don't need that all the time the businessmen who selling bananas of course they want everybody to eat 10 bananas in a day so they can sell them they want everybody to eat their watermelon so they don't have to toss it everything to the the landfill right <clears throat> so these two fruit falls into this category and if you have headache problems is to abstain from from these food okay from from uh, ice cream and all that stuff the Chinese medicine theory we mentioned the spleen and the stomach the spleen in the Western medicine we know that is an organ 
but spleen in our uh, traditional our in our theory is not an organ it's hard to um, tell you what is that but it's basically is the upper part of your body so everything you eat we just we having this logic you know consider internal organ but the, you know this is the part to digest um, when digestion is begin you know beginning is going to the food is going to stay in your stomach for a little while in the stomach it will slowly digest and then move it to your large intestine and then you know uh, to be excreted uh, out of your body if the food you eat is frozen then it encounters in your spleen for a little while it is connected your spleen and your stomach it has the nerve system connected right away directly to your nervous system to your brain so as long as you eat a lot of frozen food or, or food that is inherently in the, is cold then you're you are prone to the headaches and the treatment method I use is very simple you know drink hot water drink hot soup you know every meal that you eat um, you should consist of a lot of hot foods you know abs uh, absolutely avoid touching any food um, <clears throat> any cold food even is ordinary refriger refrigerated or room temperature you know even is cold rice you know room temperature rice room temperature water what happened is you have a room temperature water and then you drink so fast you drink so much your mouth doesn't taste any anything wrong but the temperature with your stomach has a big difference so it, right away it should like a signal to your brain and to your nervous system so that that is the that is the very important part okay and additionally I eat some food that is warm our body so it doesn't mean that only is warm on the temperature but is inherently uh, warm itself like pork beef like lamb you know uh, like uh, uh, meat uh, chicken all, all of this but you don't have to eat so much you know um, some vegetables also give you this warm uh, you know temperature giving you this energy one of one of it is very important and I, I always recommend that people keep something at home because I would do one episode especially just talk about ginger ginger if you have po food poisoning ginger can save your life so if you all of a sudden you feel like you're throwing up you're vomiting you have your diarrhea a couple of times already you know you don't have to go to um, ICU you don't have to go emergency to know that you have been food poisoning then the first thing you can do is chewing on you know big chunk of uh, ginger and then drink the ginger juice this will save your life right away maybe it will stop your vomiting stop your diarrhea remember if you have diarrhea more than two times within a couple hours it's very dangerous okay people think diarrhea is normal no diarrhea is very dangerous it can cost your life so if you have diarrhea make sure you have to stop it make sure you find a way to stop it okay and uh, you know meat ginger you know I um, but ginger I will not eat it raw okay I never eat raw ginger okay you have to remember that so I don't follow the Western practice like eating vegetable raw putting in the juicer putting everything in the juicer and then I drink cold that is I, I find that very amusing I, I don't I don't believe in that I don't believe in the nutrition that you can absorb by the way you know with the raw stuff so <clears throat> vegetable um, they said 
loss of you know the nutrients if you cook them um, very amusing you know firstly I, I you should know that lost nutrient but if you cook them you still have a lot of nutrients inside the soup and you have to know that your body can absorb large amount of nutrients from cooked vegetable from cooked meat okay so if is you know on the other hand regardless of how nutritious the raw food once you reach is reach your body if the raw food goes into your your system the the nutrients still you lost most of it you know like maybe you eat a raw carrot and then you think this raw carrot has 1000 milligram of vitamin A vitamin D but 98% release out of your body so you don't gain anything instead if you cook a carrot with some oil with some water you drink just the water you drink the soup you don't even eat the carrot from this 1000 milligram of vitamin A you have gained half of it so what you know you have to cook everything that is our theory that is our logic you don't believe me fine you know follow your own way so um, the Westerner you know consume so many new nutrients but still fails failing to absorb most of them and you're seeing them they still needing vitamin here vitamin there um, still always lack of vitamins why they don't know they don't understand so now I'm telling you why the same applies to ginger you know I love using ginger frequently in my food but small amount okay ginger doesn't mean that you should use it all the time use a large amount okay and the time to eat ginger is also, also um, you have to concern because <clears throat> in the morning you should eat more ginger but at night night time before sleeping don't eat ginger so um, I love using it frequently um, you have to use it correctly if you use it improperly not only failing to alleviate the symptom but can also uh, detrimental to um, affect your body that's why the traditional Chinese medicine is crucial to uh, diagnose uh, the, the symptom before you know administering any treatment this idea in Western nutrition and all the nutrients are are good and everyone should consume is not something I believe and it's not something I will endorse to you okay so I'm not against the Western nutrition okay I on contrary I quite like it you know I, I I take vitamin myself that is why I study both Chinese health medicine and Western nutrition you know however after due examination I understand what my body lacks and the choice uh, to choose the different um, nutrients or herbs to treat my body accordingly that is very important you know returning to the topic ginger ginger is very excellent food to use it when you have cold symptom boiling some ginger water when you have cold you know you might feel better after drinking it and the next day um, you know you, you you drink some more and then the symptom gone you know you feel fine yeah you know, and gives you energy if you enjoy taste of ginger and consume it excessively even before going to bed like I said you know you might get sick very soon okay so very important okay because excessive consumption of ginger could potentially worsen the inflammation in your body so if you have inflammation I think a lot of people have uh, has inflammation uh, even myself I from time to time I will have that so if you have that if you eating the ginger the wrong way and then your inflammation will get worse okay 
So ginger can be used to treat symptoms like headache. I mentioned earlier, as long as you avoid eating frozen food, follow my method to consuming hot food and drinks and consume you know, some soothing food afterwards, such as you know, ginger juice, heat it and apply it to your head. Okay, Like ginger, you can use it. Ginger juice, you can juice it, ju put it in the juicer. Okay. Um, use big chunk of it and then you leave you like a small bowl of ginger ginger juice ginger um, liquid and then you use the ginger liquid to rub it on your head I always do that when I have headache and then rub it on my head or even I pour a lot onto my head and kind of like a, you know washing my hair and then you feel really hot you know spicy like on on your head but just temporarily like maybe for lasting for 10 minutes and it won't kill you okay just don't touch it, your eyes okay and then <clears throat> you can if you have neck pain or all that problem or even if you have body body pain body ache you can use that you can do that too because what it does is giving you a very fast blood circulation this is a very old tradition very good technique and i'm teaching you without you spending a lot of money your problem can be healed right away this is a very good technique i charge people maybe 100 150 dollars to come and see me do a treatment all i use is ginger and then they willing to be happy to pay for that and i told them i said you can do this at home you don't without coming to see me without coming to uh you know pay for so much money just buy one piece of ginger maybe two dollars and then go home and do that your problem's gone but they don't want to do that american people they have too much money to spend <laughs> when people experiencing symptoms like headache or sore throat most likely you catch a cold uh, a flu or COVID. right so their immediate reaction is to buy over-counter medicine you know uh, Tylenol or whatever it is from uh, market from you know uh, um, some you know pharmacies when they consume it the first day they feel relief you know most of the time the first day they're feeling oh exhausted they feel that they they have this cold and, and fever and then they just take some medicine go to sleep and the next day they're returning to normal and most of the people they return to a normal routine you know working working very hard all day and then uh, lack of sleeping and feeling tired at night and when they come home they may noticing their symptom coming back and returning after you know a couple of days and they, they they start taking more medicine so taking medication again and uh, but in reality their condition is not improved at all and their headache was just the indication that something was wrong internally perhaps their body is accumulate to a lot of toxin then it couldn't expel due to the days of hard work without proper rest and without stopping intake of harmful substance so i have a theory when a person's body is healthy they have the ability to expel anything that they eat and then it will be out of their body you know even if they consume a small amount of unhealthy food they have the ability to eliminate it but if the person's body is already sick or weak and they don't go to you know the bathroom for so long and lose their appetite appetite and indicating their body is the, their uh, metabolism is very weak and slowing down and this is a sign that is telling them you have to get rest and then uh, not to eat harmful substance I mean I meant harmful substance is anything related with meat or drinking alcohol or consuming medication and <clears throat> all of that putting you know heavy burden on their liver and kidney and uh, you know that will be harmful and it's become like a toxin so modern people don't understand they turn their entire life upside down 
nowadays as a result after four or five days they started to deteriorate and then their condition worsened and they continue to have cold or several you know for several weeks and even they recovered they quickly relapse after a few months and it becomes a year for you know with several illnesses so why well, I know some friends they've been sick three times in a year especially this year you know <clears throat> that's why many people keep getting cold repeatedly you know even many um, parents nowadays and their, their children recover from illnesses immediately buy fried chicken and burgers and pamper them at that time after you know just right after um, the, 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 their sickness and uh, and then they consume you know um, Western medicine for a while and they be consume these harmful substance again and again which accumulate a large amount of uh, toxicity in their body children also don't understand that they keep eating a lot of sweets and ice creams you know in fact we've been constantly harming our body for those you know for, for our family so I hope to bring all of this to you to bring this healthy information from here um, sharing all of this without you know charging any people money or without doing anything just trying to get this health um, uh, you know, knowledge to everybody and health is not just massage or just diet you know I will go deeper if as we request and, and people wanted to hear more so I will go deeper and explain why in Chinese culture the medical astrology and divination are all connected all based on the Chinese book of Yi Jing Yi Qing so some people are born with certain kind of disease right so uh, it's imprinted in their body which cannot be changed by any means and it's hard for them to live but I'm trying to share more to let them to live better to cure the, 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 the sickness or to at least eliminate the pain you know within their life so um, <clears throat> over the past few years too many people have lost uh, and contracted many kind of disease and I have a lot of friends with cancer with all that problem and I'm just here to I hope to uh, share my experience can reduce the suffering for many people and you know but the life is in your own hand remember and uh, only you can help yourself reducing the suffering and extend life and I had a patient who had disease called shingle in their body which you know you have the blister and then um, growing on the skin and he has seen the Western doctor and many different doctors but there was no no solution eventually he started to using a very common Chinese medicine right took it for a day and started to improve you know perhaps people don't want to see you know such effective medicine you know some people think okay you know Chinese medicine they don't want that remember without patients without sick people there won't be a big hospital there won't be big hospital exists everywhere and there wouldn't be so many doctors nurses who are working in the hospital collecting salaries so remember that this world has become became a place beyond our imaginations I just hope that those who are destined to see my video or your friend your family you can share this video can gradually learn to reduce the suffering reduce the suffering 
in their own lives and for their family lives. So thank you very much.